Hi, I'm Ted Pelican. And I'm Tom Gull. Well, Tom, another year, another great end of summer seabird birdathlon. This year, we're broadcasting from the famed Aleutian Islands of Alaska. The first leg of the birdathlon is an 800-meter slalom to the purple buoy, followed by a 50-meter dive down to the sunken submarine to grab the herring, where our crab cam will note the winner. Excitement is definitely brewing among our feathered fans. Why don't you fill us in on today's two avian athletes? Well, Tom, first up and holding the world's record for the longest migration of any bird, an incredible 11,000 miles, the Arctic Tern. With half of this race being all about the deep blue sea, though, can she translate that phenomenal flying to the swimming half of this bird athlon? Well, let's take a look at the stats, Tom. Weighing in at just under four ounces, this featherweight flies easily with a generous 31-inch wingspan and 12-inch body. Very impressive. Who's up against the turn, Ted? Well, Tom, it's our favorite horned heroine, Cerorinca monocerata, otherwise known as the rhinoceros auklet. Holy Toledo, look at the size of that fish she's carrying. Yep, she eats the largest meal relative to body weight of any of her kind, the Alcid family of diving seabirds. Let's look at the stats on this tough cookie. Weighing in at a whopping 17.6 ounces, this big bone gal burns a lot of calories. And at 15 inches long, the rhinoceros auklet's body is larger than the turn. But she has a smaller wingspan, only 22 inches. And rhinos count most of the Pacific Rim as their habitat, from Japan to Alaska, all the way down to the shores of Baja, California. Baja, baby. Oh, yeah. The crowd is excited. The race is about to begin. And they're off. The Arctic Turn has taken an early lead as the rhino takes her sweet time getting up to speed by running on the surface of the water. Look at her go! The flight monitor shows 300 wing beats per minute, birds! But the turn's taking a tremendous lead as he takes those turns. No wonder they call him the Sea Swallow. His long wings and lighter weight give him a real agility advantage over the rhino. The turn's almost to the last buoy. But where's our rhinoceros auklet? Oh, she just missed another buoy. You gotta wonder, can she catch up? She's working hard, Tom, but with her heavier body weight and shorter wingspan, she just can't master those turns. Hold up a minute, the turn is hovering. What a show off. He knows the rhino can't do that. It's a good trick, but the turn's wasting valuable time. That's right, Tom. He can't seem to make it into the second leg of the birdathlon. It looks like diving is quite a challenge for the turn. Whoa! Here comes the rhinoceros auklet, like the bat out of hell. I know. Look at her drop like a stone. She's not having any trouble, is she, Tom? Indeed not, Ted. That's because, like all members of the Alcid family, she's well adapted to underwater pursuits. And how? Check out the way she uses those powerful breast muscles to flap her bent wings underwater, using them just like she would in the air. The rhino's nearing the sunken sub. It's pretty dark down there. Can she see that crab waving the herring at the finish line? No problemo. Alcid vision is suited to the low light conditions found at these depths. How's our turn taking all this, Ted? He's all washed up, Tom. The rhino's reached the herring and she's got it. We have a winner. Look at her down that sucker head first. That's no amateur Alcid, Tom. Oh, the taste of victory is sweet. What's next for this winged winner? Well, she'll be celebrating at sea, diving and fishing with the best of them until she returns next year. Until next year, this has been Ted. And Tom. 